Uh, hello everyone, welcome to What's GG Rated on? Pod. Thank you. And we're gonna bring you some GG ratings for some fantastic games. Um, first we're gonna start out with our introduction. I am Gray, one of the G's in GG Rated. Um, I am a longtime friend of Gino, and we both like video games. That's pretty much what you need to know right now. <laughs> We got some good ones today on uh, today's show, I think. <laughs> That's right. On today's show, we got some good ones. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, man, have you had a pretty good week? Uh, been busy, but it's been pretty good. Been not too bad. Nice. It's been hot. So hot over here in Alabama, it is man. Hot. Just I we're mean, in, everywhere we're in Alabama. Yeah. If you can't tell by the accents, we're from Alabama. <laughs> Segment one is going to be our favorite gaming moment from this past week. I like favorite it. Favorite gaming moment from this past week. So I've been playing this game called Summer Catcher. I um, ended up catching it on sale on Steam, dude, for like 85% off. I paid, what should I pay for it? Steam has such paid good deals, man. Dude, it's 90% off now. I wonder if it's always been like that. Anyways, it was like a dollar something. 90% off. Um, usually goes for about 12 bucks. It's a great indie pixel graphics game. Side scrolling where you choose um, these different abilities to do on a cart uh, that's going through the woods. Um, that's very vague, but <laughs> I'm going to explain <laughs> some more of that later. My favorite part of this game was just exploring in the woods. And there was a moment where out of nowhere, the gameplay stops after you crash and it does something different. So already it's like, what's going on? And I walk up on this like majestic giant deer. And it was like the coolest moment that I had this week of like, whoa, this game there's more to it than I thought there was, and it was really neat. Um, but that was my like, like when you say moment. majestic deer, I just I I need some elaboration on this. Like, <laughs> so it, it's like a magic deer of the forest. So it made me think of Have you ever seen Princess Mononoke? What? Of course I have. <laughs> Princess Mononoke <laughs> is an anime. It's about like spirits <laughs> and stuff in the forest. It was a, it was basically a forest spirit, um, is what it seemed like to me. It had like giant antlers with like bells all over them and okay. lights I, or something. I got a picture. Glowing, like, I got a picture. It was after. cool, and it ends up it uh, gives you a bell to like have and to ring. That's pretty um, cool. Yeah, dude, it was awesome. Like, and how much you said you got this mysterious. game for? I got it for a dollar something, dude. <sighs> a dollar, a dollar nineteen right now. I'm going to have to snag that up then when we get <laughs> off of here. Got <laughs> it's so good. It's fun. Um, but yeah, that was my favorite game of the moment. How about you? Well, um, PlayStation recently released old Ratchet and Clank here on PC um, recently. So I decided to snatch it on up. It was, <laughs> newsflash, it was not a dollar. <laughs> it was a lot <laughs> more dollars. But being a longtime fan of Ratchet and Clank, you know, from the early PlayStation days. Um, yeah, I was kind of excited that they bring it to PC so you can actually see what it's like <clears throat> to with the warm wormholes. And, you know, they said that only SSD on a PS5 could do. So I was really, I was really uh, tempted to see how that works. Well, I haven't tried it on my PC yet, but you'd be happy to hear I tried it on my Steam Deck. So... I would say that so far it's been uh it's been pretty good, man. Um the biggest moment I had so far since I've been playing it for a couple hours uh has to be when you first go through these wormholes, like I went through one and then you had like this you're trying to get away from the boss and there's so much going on, but it's like the moment of like every time you go through this wormhole, it's like a whole new just just world and it's and it's not empty, you know? Um yeah. So it's 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 
that was just kind of amazing to me. It kind of sucked you in the atmosphere, yeah. uh, playing it. So, uh, so I know really immersive, it's very immersive. I'm still at the very beginning of this game, but, um, I'm only like two or three hours in honestly, but just the way when you went through the wormholes and you can just pull yourself through them and stuff. Like I was facing one boss and he was shooting like flames and rockets at me. And on one end, you can't get away from it. And I figured out when you turn to your right, you can actually grab that wormhole and bring yourself to it to get away from the boss from the attacks. So it was super cool. It's like L1 or something. Yeah. I think. L1. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, so far it's been pretty cool. Really liked Ratchet and Clank so far. That's awesome, man. That sounds like a pretty fun gaming <laughs> moment with some like weird portals and stuff like that. I always enjoy things like that. Absolutely. Cool. So next segment, let's go into the news, news, news. You did that perfectly. I just want to throw that out there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, let me let's tell you about, let it. me, let me throw out the biggest thing so far that I've seen. Uh, with the news is this this uh Twitch streamer, um, uh -huh. I'm just gonna say his name is Kyle or whatever. I forget his last name, but he was giving out PlayStation fives. Okay, he's a huge Twitch streamer. He was gonna give out a lot of PS fives in New York City. Um, it's made national news to the point, um, <laughs> so bad that when he goes to New York City at Times Square, I think it is, or I forget exactly where in New York City, it just all out chaos ensues where destruction, all these teenagers just going around, as we've seen a lot in this in, in history lately, um uh -huh. in the United States, they just demolishing everything. Police had to get called, riot teams, they had to disperse the crowds. It was trying to get Dang. parents to show up to get their kids. None of the parents were there. It was it was so bad they ended up having to arrest the streamer for causing all this which he did wow and there was a whole big controversy about that but i mean when you sit here and you're going to do something like that and you cause all of this i think you got to have some kind of consequences but um what what's your, yeah. what's your thoughts on that though i mean do you do you think he should be charged with that or do you think i mean was like he really going out of his way to like make a disturbance was there intent there See, because yeah. I've been watching Suits, so I'm pretty much a professional lawyer now. And uh, um, just trying to see if there was intent to actually <laughs> that do show a crime. So awesome. You know, I know. It's a great show. Um, I don't know. I, it's kind of like, I feel like half of you is saying this and half of you not, because I can only see half of your face right now, even though we're doing the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> I will say that um, that show, Suits, is amazing. The intent is the good thing that you said on it. I feel like I don't know all the details on it. All I know is that he went there without. See, if you're going to do something that major, you need to contact your lo local police department, right? You need to let them know and say, hey, you know, I'm selling PS5s. Um, I need, uh, you know, I want this area. This is where we're going to be at. Maybe even pay security. You know, he he probably makes millions of dollars because he's such a big uh, streamer. You know, if he's giving out PS fives, I'm just assuming here. But I mean, you can even hire officers to kind of maintain it, make a line, have a game plan. You can't just show up somewhere giving away PlayStation fives and expect everybody to be calm and about about it. You know what I'm saying? People were being yeah. seen on top of cars, dancing on top of cars at one point. I mean, it, it was insane. It was insane. Yeah. News, they had like a news conference on it and everything. It made national news. I mean, there was thousands and thousands of kids and they was just breaking windows to cars. They were. Oh, yeah, yeah. Damaging Definitely. everything. You know, it, it wasn't. Uh -huh. It wasn't calm and collected at all. So, yeah, I feel like at some point, because this is not the first time this has happened. Right. You see it a lot in California yeah. and a lot of other places, too. But you have to set an example and say, Hey, this is not right. This is not okay. And I hope that like they get assistance from the FBI or something, and maybe they can identify um, some of these individuals and they can arrest them at a later time. Some of these teenagers, yeah. you know, to let them know like, Hey, if you come out here and you do this, there's a consequence for that, you know, for your actions. Yeah, And if I'm not mistaken, it has kind of turned into a, 
political thing, hasn't it? With them it bringing is. charges against the streamer. It has. It has. has. Just yeah, based on his really... race. Just because of his race. Um, yeah. You know, and yeah. you got to look, you got to, you got to stop looking at that. I said, you can't ignore it, but at the same time, I just want to say you, you have to, you have to hold people accountable for their actions. Oh, you, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, black or white, love yeah. everybody, but also treat everybody the same when it comes to the law. Absolutely. Like Absolutely. Um, and that's if you're white or you're black. Like, it, yeah. There sh- shouldn't be a difference there. Um, but the main thing is we should love everybody. Black yeah. and white, Mexicano, Filipino. Yep. Whether you like really spicy food or not, whether Cajun. you're a Cajun <laughs> or just a white dude. So if, y'all, if y'all don't know this, guys, I'm uh, from New Orleans and uh, my family is. And uh, I was actually raised in Alabama, uh, technically with Josh. Like we went to school together, young age. But mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, everybody knows I'm Cajun. I love to cook, obviously, like a true Cajun. And yep. uh, you hear it every once in a while. You know, uh, I think Josh came over many a nights uh, for some gumbo and stuff. So I did. It was excellent. Always enjoyed those nights. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff, dude. Awesome. Well, thanks for giving us the news, Gino. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Next segment. Our GG rating. So we're going to talk about our GG rating. What is it? What is this podcast even about? What are we doing here? How tall am I? Just kidding. But the last <laughs> um, <laughs> five eleven, I think, used to be maybe taller, but you know, maybe I'm slouching or something. The only five eleven I know is the pants. So that's the brand. <laughs> five eleven. <tax laughs> that's the only thing I'm ever going to see. Five five eleven. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about the GG rating. What is it? Our world renowned GG rating is the industry standard for ratings. Um, our GG rating tells you this is a, if this is a good game and worthy of your time. GG, boys. GG. So basically, we're going to break it down. We're going to break down graphics, music, story, gameplay, multiplayer function, fun factor. We're going to average all those scores up, and it's going to come out to our GG rating. So that's what the GG rating is. Do you have anything to add or take away, Gino? No. I just want to reiterate, you see the GG you know, good game. Um, that's kind of right. what we stand for here, right? I know it's Gino and Gray, so it kind of incorporates into that, I think we talked about. That's right. But at yeah. the same time, good games, right? And I think the good yeah. game rating from Gino and Gray is where it's going to be the standard, where we're not just going to talk about the normal stuff that they talk about, but we're also going to give that extra layer, um, knowing that it's coming from us, from just the casual players that's just – finding these new games, playing these new games, playing them with the kids, playing them, you know, over 30 years of experience, right. I think is going to give that extra element um, on these ratings, I, I feel agree. like. Yeah, dude. So, like, what do you say we go right into our games and kind of break down each of our games, and then we can go into our rating? How about that? Yeah, sounds good. Our game breakdown. Summer Catchers, baby. Summer Catchers is basically a pixel graphic side scrolling adventure baby i don't know why i'm saying baby so much but (laughs) embark on an epic road trip adventure of a lifetime in summer catchers with your trusty wooden car you must travel to distant lands full of mystery strange creatures and exciting races in your quest to finally experience summer however the journey won't be easy driving through shadowy forests dark swamps vast valleys and underground cities You will encounter obstacles and larger-than-life situations. With your trusty travel bag in hand, you can work your way way through these uncharted lands and, just like in real life, find a few friends and secrets along the way. The key features of this is a unique arcade game that mixes racing, story, rhythm, and puzzle elements all into one. Uncover all the mysteries and events of this beautiful pixel art world. Discover unique abilities and upgrade your car to ride in style. Replay the game to find all the hidden corners the fast traveler might have missed. So I say before I go into my rating and everything, Mm -hmm. um, I want to play a little bit of audio of this game. And I just decided I'm actually going to play something different than we talked about. Okay. I'm going to play 
I'm going to play the trailer here. Okay. So. I'm going to go ahead and switch on over and we'll, we'll play it out. All right. Got that? Yeah. Love the style. Oh, there's a magic deer. The kind of retro style I'm really liking. So, what you're mainly hearing right now is the music. Basically, I think you get it there. And then I'm going to play a l little bit of this other part. Can I just say the, the, the yeah. graphics on this thing? Like, I know you kind of go into it, but I really uh -huh. like the kind of retro feel it has to it. You know, the side oh, strolling yeah, and dude. stuff. So really, yeah. really cool. It's really neat. And like when they talk and stuff, it's so cute. I'm about yeah. to play it. You can see what I'm t see what I'm talking about. This is when the game starts. <sighs> And you kind of hear how it starts off, and she meets the uh, <laughs> the bear, <laughs> which she calls a bear, but it's actually a wolf. That's sleeping. No, no, no. This is the girl. She, about to... <laughs> she just woke <laughs> up and she poked her head out of the bushes. It's like everything's kind of square, kind of like a Minecrafty feel to it as well. Yeah, it does have kind of a Minecrafty feel, and the bushes remind me of Super Mario. Mm -hmm. It does. Kind of that backdrop. Yeah. So you, they're about, they're about to start talking to each other. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> it's so cute, dude. Like. Ah. It is. But I mean, the, the title, gonna... subtitles are like really clean though. Yeah, so. yeah, super clean. And I'm going to skip ahead a little bit to some music and gameplay. So she just went through some obstacles. So she's riding a car right through. now, just smashing through uh -huh. everything, through the ice. Yeah. So you so get to control this car? Bit of it. Oh. Uh -huh. Do you get to control this car? Um, so do you see those boxes on the side there? Mm -hmm. You're choosing different actions to use. So like the jump. Yeah. And then you got a shield out in front of you. Is nice. what that little thing is there. Um, then you got a rocket boost. And as you progress in the game, you get more stuff um, to overcome different obstacles, basically. Hey, that and in that aspect, it can get repetitive, but they add twists on it to where it stays fun. That seems pretty neat. I'm going to have to snatch that up after. Uh, I'm definitely going to snatch it. I think it's definitely it. worth it, man. I think it's definitely worth it, especially like even the just to be in the atmosphere and like hear the music is really chill, and I enjoy my time in there. Oh, my just you. Um, I think you already bought it, so I, we game share, so that's always a plus. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you could definitely just do that. You could yeah. download it and give it a shot when I ain't on there. Yeah. Um, give it a shot when I ain't <laughs> on there, boy. I just went full country on you. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we, hey, yeah, we warned them ahead of time about Alabama. Yeah, we, we, you know? we did. <laughs> So I'm just going to break it down real quick so that you can get into your game. Summer Catchers. The graphics are pixel, beautiful, and smooth. The gameplay is so smooth. It's so smooth, smoother than every other game. <laughs> Main character could look better, though. Like I found myself not really being able to tell because you can buy different hats and stuff. And to me, they didn't... Like, you can't really tell a lot where her head begins and where everything else ends. Um, but still a cute character. Just, I wish they would have done a little bit more work on the main character as far as the pixels yeah. go. Um, so the pixel graphics, other than that, are beautiful, could have more pop when action happens. So I gave that part of it an 8.5.
music is very unique and atmospheric it sets the tone for the style of the game and tells a story and the levels progress so you're not always in the same area you're going to different areas you're finding new characters like i've only been through two or three areas and i've already met some really interesting characters like cool um it's been really fun so the so the music is excellent i give it a 9.5 it just fits and the note that plays when you crash your car has a sense of danger yet it's hopeful so um and when you play the game you're gonna yeah hopefully see what i'm talking about there <laughs> hey the so i did like the, the music the music was good <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So the gameplay is repetitive, of course, because this is the type of game it is. You're going to play this same loop over and over, but it's fun. Where the game shines is how it tells the story and progresses the levels. The characters are interesting and gives you a sense of excitement as you meet new ones, as it breaks up the gameplay when you meet these other characters, too. Um, so the story and the gameplay... Um, I'd, I'd say the gameplay really shines here. The gameplay is a fun loop, but it, but it seems it could have just a little bit of something extra on the gameplay just to break it up a little bit more. Yeah. Um, just, you know, a little bit of something to push it over the top. Yeah. Um, but the story so far is a solid nine. Like, I am, in, I am engaged. I am excited to really? meet other characters. Yeah, man, like it's really neat. So, it's, it's, um, so you think the story is a strong suit of it? Yeah, because basically, like she's trying to find the beach, like she's trying to find the ocean, and she's trying to get out of the woods, and she's meeting all these interesting like animals and stuff along the way, and they don't over explain everything. So there's like so much, a bunch of questions that you ask yourself, and that's what amazed me is that they were able to tell. So much with so little in a pixel art game. That's pretty like, cool. Yeah. Really. Yeah. So uh, I give the story a nine so far, and I give the gameplay an eight. Like they could like mix it up a little bit more, but I give that an eight. Um, so the game has a shared split screen too, by the way. So if you do buy the game, we can oh, play well, it together. Oh, that means I have to buy it. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah, that's a but it's deal. a dollar. Yeah, <laughs> but oh, it's a dollar. Oh, so you know, uh, what I mean? never mind. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> So we could play guys, split screen. Let me together. say right now, that let me stop the video right there, guys. If you like and subscribe, <laughs> just make sure it helps us out a lot. It keeps the lights on around the house. Yeah. It helped me with these yeah. games. Thank you. All right. That was my plug. Yep. <laughs> yep. For one dollar, you can buy a game for dinner in the arms of <laughs> play the music. Play that music. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um, I didn't rate the multiplayer because I haven't played that so um but the fun factor i'm going to go into that easy going game to jump back into and chill with the excellent music and lovely pixel graphics the loop is fun and the experience is hopeful and happy how about that a happy game like it's not all all serious yeah, doom and, and gloom blood and guts oh, yeah. Okay. yeah so i give that part of it a solid nine i find myself wanting to come back for more and it only cost me a dollar and some change so based on the ratings Drum roll, please. I give it a 8.8. Okay. Yay! Okay. GG rating 8.8. I say it's absolutely worth your time. I thought it would have went into the, into the nines, honestly, the way you yeah, talking. But I think so. It's close. So I think if they would have mixed up the gameplay a little bit more, added that little extra, and there might be extra in the end of the game. I don't know. But just that little bit extra would have pushed it over a nine. Great, I like that, man. That's not bad at all. Um, yeah. it, it's it's making me want to go try out the game, and you have no excuse for a dollar to go try it out. So, yeah, um, it's for something real. I'm gonna have to go back to and maybe uh talk about um That's later right. on. Um, yep. So let's you want to uh go into into my game to see what we got here. Yeah, let's go into it. Now for Gino's turn. <laughs> uh, we're going to do the Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, which is originally a PS5 exclusive, right? PS5 has been kind of throwing some towards PC. Um, so it's an intergalactic adventure, or back with a bang with Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Go dimension hopping with Ratchet and Clank as they venture onto a PC near you for the very first time. So this is the first time they are on PC. 
helped him take an evil emperor from another reality as you jump between the action-packed worlds and beyond. Uh, with their own universe next in the firing li line, dust off the dynamic pair's outrageous weaponry and stop a dimensional collapse in his tracks. So, <clears throat> and there's a little bit more onto it, but I say we start what you said with the graphics, right? So, I think the graphics are kind of, when I first started off, when you looked at it, I don't know if it's, this is intentional or not, but it's kind of fuzzy at first. Yeah, um, I think that's the upscaling that it's doing on yes, the Steam Deck, on it, the it, FSR. It, the fur that's on Ratchet, you know, because it's kind of like a fox, I guess you could say, um, uh -huh. is kind of fuzzy, but I kind of got used to it very, you know, and everything else looks great. Um, but I'm also playing it on the Steam Deck now. I'm not playing on the PC with a higher graphics sure. card and all, so it's doing very well on a Steam Deck. Um, mm -hmm. as far as graphics wise as, as well is the worlds that you go into is just, there's so much busyness. If you know what I mean? Like it's not empty. Yeah. It's got so much stuff around. Um, yes. So I, I think the graphics, the graphics is great. You know, um, I'll give it cause it's on the steam deck and this is steam deck rating. I would say too, um, would be, I would say at least an eight. I was saying eight because it's still mesmerizing, okay? But yeah. music, music is more of a dialogue, kind of more like a movie. Um, when you're playing it, it, it does cutscenes and all, and you hear talking a lot and stuff. They got background music, but it's not like yours where it's just kind of it, it. You can really focus on the music on the game, so mm -hmm. I can't really give any any kind of attention to the music on this thing. Um, the story, I think, is the strong suit of this game. Um, that's the main reason I bought this game because I wanted more single player kind of aspects, right? When I'm playing, I want mm -hmm. sometimes you just want to sit back and you just want to play a single player game and just kind of chill out and just have have some fun, no sh no stress, right? And this game is a hundred percent that game where you can sit around the you know you're just shooting things and things are happening and then all of a sudden boom there's another cut scene there's another cut scene and you're like kind of like watching a movie kind of like a luminous movie you know um so the story kind of goes uh about clank making a time portal clank is making a time portal gun so that ratchet can go back and find his kind you know he's kind of seems iffy about doing that but before he can do so the enemy, the boss, Nefarious Juggernaut, or Nefarious, um, steals the gun, and while they're trying to get it back from Nefarious, it ends up uh, breaking the gun, and it sends everything into straight chaos, you know? I mean, might as well be in New York City, what we just talked about in the news, right? Uh, but it brings <laughs> everything into chaos, so there's like wormholes everywhere, um, oh, yeah. and you just travel, and like I said, I'm only like two or three hours in, but you keep going back to that story and ends up that nefarious goes into a timeline where he's the emperor. He's the big top guy, top enemy. And, uh, so, so far, so good. The story is the best. I would definitely give that a 9.5 so far. Uh, gameplay. Gameplay is smooth. It's when you shoot the different guns, um, you get all kinds of different guns that you can choose and you can upgrade those guns. It kind of has like a tree system, tree tier system. Um, and you have grenades and stuff, but the guns are so smooth when you're aiming FPS wise. So it's really great. Um, you have a hammer as well that you can kind of sling and kind of throw at people, throw at enemies, kind of hit things. And the hammer is actually uh, really nice to use as well when you get low on ammo. So you do have to keep your ammo up. But I will say that the gameplay is really top tier, that you can tell that they really use that. You can you can keep your action of running around. Um, so when you're running and stuff, your movement and everything while you're shooting, and if you want to do something, you're able to do that. You're not restricted. You don't feel restricted. Um, so the other category I'll go into the multiplayer. Unfortunately, Josh, it is no multiplayer. But mm. uh, it would be nice if they had kind of like a co-op, kind of like on your game. Um, definitely being a seventy dollar game, right? No more sixty dollars, sure. seventy dollars. <laughs> yeah. um, overall, the fun factor, man. 
absolutely great. Kind of kind of pulls on my nostalgia a little bit, being Ratchet and Clank playing the older games. But at the same Good. time, just how hectic it gets in this game. Yeah. And how you just playing it on the Steam Deck and you got that feel and you playing it right there and you just playing it on the couch. Right. The fun factor is awesome on that game. And that's why I've I've only had like one or two sittings and I've played hours each time because I can't yeah. put it down. So Dude, I actually let my son play it a little bit today and like he loved yeah, it. Yeah. He was like, This is so fun. And that's the type of game I wouldn't mind him playing all the way through because there's really it's ratchet and clank. I mean, like I don't think there's anything to worry about as far as content wise. I'm gonna get my daughter to try it out as well. Cause what did I say last time? I want them to start playing these kids to start playing these story based games instead yeah. of these these cash grab games, you know, micro transactions. And let's get them mm -hmm. more into these games, you know. But yeah. overall, um, the GG rating for Ratchet and Clank right now. I would have to give a solid, a so on the Steam Deck, a solid nine, solid nine. Yep. Um, nine, nine out of ten. You know, it it lacks a multiplayer. That's why I can't give it a bump up. Uh, I can't give it more than that um, because of the graphics. You know, but I'm playing on the Steam Deck, so it can only be better if you're on PC, right? So. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So, I'll give it a solid nine out of ten for a GG rating for Ratchet and Clank ripped apart. Yeah, and dude, I think that's I think that's pretty spot on, even with the little bit that I played. And I think too, a good thing for people to know is that I think a lot of games that we do play are gonna be on the Steam Deck. Um so we, we might have to adjust our GG ratings to like put that in like, hey, these are Steam Deck reviews too. So yeah. I don't know if I'm hey, gonna mess around with that. We Maybe might put have that to look title. at that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that so I didn't we think might about just that. Be like Steam Steam Deck reviewers, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the way we're looking at, because we play mostly on the Steam Deck a lot lately, right? So. Yeah, I might put that in the title: Steam Deck reviews of this and this. Hey, you know? um, do you, I do have one other bonus news? Um, if you if you want to go over that real quick, just for, yeah, dude. Uh, so we're done with the GG ratings now. Done with the Let's GG. Go rating. into the bonus news. All right, so the bonus news I have is something real quick is I saw this past week, Xbox console players just got a huge update. They've been asking for it, and Xbox actually delivered, okay? And they moved. What they did is on the dashboard, all the tiles that they had used to cover up the whole entire back of the dash. So anytime you had these really cool Master Chief backgrounds, dynamic backgrounds, you know, you couldn't see it. Oh, yeah, I got a sweet background on mine. Yeah, that's what I'm so... I don't know if you was able to get it yet, but they're supposed to be slowly releasing it. But they moved yeah. all the tiles down, shrunk the tiles. Now, I do think that they should make the second row of the tiles, they should disappear that and make the other one, you know? But I think that um, what they're doing, they're listening to the customers. And I think it's huge that they actually released that and actually um, kept their word and said they're working on it. And they actually done it. And I think it looks wow. great. It looks great. Man, Xbox is so good about stuff like that. They're really engaging with their community. And they've been doing these things too. Well, they will actually celebrate other games and other platforms too. Um, yeah. Not only their own, own, but they'll talk like really positive about PlayStation and about others. When God um, of War was released or Tears of the Kingdom, Phil Spencer gave congratulations to both companies whenever um, they released those games. Yeah. yeah. Real class act, man. I'm a huge Xbox fan um, for that reason as well as others. So. Yeah. Yeah, Absolutely. that's really interesting news, man. Thanks for the update oh, on yeah. that. Everybody, be on the lookout for your new dashboard on Xbox. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we went through two GG ratings for Summer Catchers and the new Ratchet and Clank game. Um, what is the name of that game? Ratchet Rift and Clank apart. what? Rift Apart. Rift Apart. Because yep. it's on PC now, baby. So that's awesome. So. Um, Let's see. I guess uh I guess that's it, huh? I think that's it. I think we covered everything for this episode. Um we what you think? It. 
I think it's excellent. And I thank you, sir, for being here oh, and yeah. for being so awesome. Yeah, I appreciate you too, man. Um, I appreciate everybody stopping by, just hearing us out, and uh, hopefully they got something out of it. So Hopefully they did. Hopefully they did. Well, I just want everybody to know I love you, I like you, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> see y'all the next time around. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Peace.